guys welcome back to my channel uh, I'm CJ in SoCal if you're new to my channel welcome uh, please like and subscribe I am a fashion channel and I do I've been doing lots of unboxings and I'd like to do reviews and I like to give my input on uh, all the stuff that I've bought so if you're into like designer dupes and bags and fashion um, I'm it so today I am excited to share that I have finally made my first official purchase at the local LV boutique in Rodeo. So I'm going to unbox this with everyone. Um, I have mentioned it in other videos that should have come up before this video. I did a whole batch of recordings today. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not exactly sure when this video is gonna come out, but it's gonna come out. Um, yesterday I was at Rodeo um, to get um, my little key holder that I just bought repaired. I need to get that button repaired. So I did a video on that. That should have come out by now. It should have come out before this. And then I did a little vlog of um, me and my boyfriend shopping in Rodeo looking for a new work bag. So what happened was my old Valentino, my old Valentino broke. So the little, the poor little strap snapped in half. Here, let me show you guys. Let me put this down, I'll show you guys that first. And then I'll unbox, just real quick. All right, so this was my old Valentino bag for work. And I carry lots of stuff in here and this is what happened. The strap right here just basically snapped out, snapped off. So I'm gonna get this repaired and I'm gonna just resell this online and whatnot. But I was so sad because I really loved this bag and it carried everything I needed. And it, it was hard to try to find a replacement for this. Cause like I carry my little wallet, I carry my makeup bag, I'll carry my protein shake in here just from like from the door to the car. I carry, I need to carry like two bottles of water to work because my work doesn't have a water fountain and I have to bring my own water. And yeah, and it gets real heavy in this bag. So that's why it snapped off. So I gotta fix that and then resell it. And so hence the reason why I had to go shopping in Rodeo for a new work bag. And yes, I may have mentioned before that this is a Neverfull. So I will show everyone which never full I got, but uh, let's see. So the guy that worked with me, his his name was Waylon. Waylon, yes, he was really he was really sweet and helped me pick out which never full to get. Got me a bunch of free little perfumes, and I was actually torn. I actually I prefer monogram. I like monogram. Uh, but I was torn between the um, the, the Neverfull MM and the monogram with a red interior or the Eben with the Rose Ballerine interior. So let's show, I'm going to show you what I got right now. How cute. I haven't seen it since I bought it. So yeah, this is like my first time seeing it again since he boxed it for me. Nope. I need to tilt it down. Tilt it up. Do, do, do. So I'm gonna do it. Oh, it slid down. Oh my god, this box is huge. Let's see, here's it right here. Bambi! Shh! Okay. And the one that got uh, is, do, 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 the Ben, the Damier Ben in the MM size with the rose ballerine interior. So let me straighten it up. Yay. So I chose this one because it is a bag that I will be wearing for most of the week. Basically, at least four out of five days out of the week while I'm at work. And I needed something that was really sturdy. 
and that wouldn't show signs of wear as much. Like I feel like the even, um, because it's darker, won't show as much scuffs or scratches or dirt. At least will be le least likely to show it. And I do love on on the monograms. I love the fichetta and I love how it patinas. But the thing is, I gotta be more. I think I gotta be more practical with my straps. Like with the wear and tear, the wear because this is a darker leather, it won't show as much. It's just gonna get nice and shiny. So yes, that's why I chose the Even. I prefer the monogram, but I would get the Even just for that. So I was really torn. And here's the pochette. I was really torn between getting this pre-loved or brand new. The you know, the thing that bothered me was. If you bought this on a pre-loved site, they people most people would sell it without the pochette, which really bothered me, which I didn't like. Like they would sell the bag by itself and then they would sell the pochette by itself. So I guess they could get more money that way. Cause together, this was like 1320, but if you sold this like separately for like a thousand dollars or something and this separately for like $500, you could get a little bit more bang for your buck. But I, so yeah, as a buyer, I didn't like that. So I decided to opt to just buy a brand new one. So, uh, yay, so happy. The only other thing that bothered me, oh, there's another one in there, was that I, wa I really wanted one made in France. I was a little picky with like my, my Vuitton selections. But um, Waylon, the essay said, um, because this is a very common item that is bought and sold, it, it's, they really don't sell the ones made in, the versions like this made in France here. Like if you want to get one, if you want to get an Everfull made in France, you'd have to go to France to get one. I was like, really? I don't know if it's, if that's true. If you, if you guys know what's up with that or if that's really legit, let me know, cause I was just like, really? Ugh. So I settled for one made in USA. It's supposed to be just as good quality, yes I know, but you know, it's Vuitton, it's a French brand, and I just prefer to have things that are Vuitton made in France, since it's French. Uh, that's like, you know, buying a Versace or a Prada made in the USA. I mean, it's an Italian brand for goodness sake. So, anywho, Ah, uh, yes, I almost didn't buy it. You know, to be honest, I, the Neverfull I know is a very popular item. And yes, the Neverfull is a staple of Louis Vuitton. Like of the bags to have with Louis Vuitton, the Speedy and the Neverfull are the two most popular items to have I know. And they seem to be the bags that hold their value the best. But I was hesitant to, to buy a Neverfull because I just see so many replicas of the Neverfull out there. Like I work at a hospital and you have no idea how many replicas I see. It's like, you know, it's like, it was just like, it's disheartening. And I'm just like, ugh, you know, if I were to buy a real baton, would other people think I'm wearing a fake one too? Cause sometimes you could look at it and you could tell. Anyways, that's my little rant, but I mean, I decided to just go ahead and buy it because I know it is a classic bag to have. I know it retains its value. If I need to sell it back, I could sell it back for a very good price. And move along, or I could just resell it for a good value and buy another one, you know? So yes, I can't wait to wear it to work. And I just got the organizer for it in the mail today from Amazon, so I can't wait to put that in there as well. And then later on, I will do an updated review for you guys to see how well it's working for me. So, there it is. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, don't forget to like my video, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.